Now, a damning independent report has today criticised Wirral Borough Council for a myriad of errors which led to 16 adults with learning difficulties being systematically overcharged for services over a period of eight years. It says the failures, which were expo exposed by a whistleblower, put the vulnerable adults in a totally unacceptable situation. And the findings will be discussed by the council at a special meeting tonight. Well, our reporter Abby Jones joins me now in the studio. She's been looking at the report. Abby, what were these people overcharged for exactly and how did it happen? Well, these people lived in three supported living accommodations in Mortal, Morton in Wirral. And they paid Wirral Council not for the accommodation, but for their care, for things like getting them up in the morning, people to come and get them dressed. But for, for that amount of time, years, they paid too much. And the council didn't review those charges when it should have done and let it go on. Now, last year, the council admitted it had made a big mistake, a huge mistake, and reimbursed £244,000, but only going back to the year 2000. And the report says it needs to look again at paying out more uh, covering years before that. And it, yet it took a whistleblower from on the inside of the council, Martin Morton, to actually expose what was happening. It did. Uh, Martin Morton said he told his bosses in adult social services about what was going on back in 2001, some years after it started. But he says he was ignored and then bullied out of his job. And in two 2008, he left signing an agreement that paid him £40,000 to keep quiet, but he didn't. He went to the press. And the council made a full apology to him, but the report says it still hasn't learned how to uh, how to encourage whistleblowers to come forward without fear of reprisal but he also made some other claims which are just as deeply worrying he says that vulnerable adults in these homes are being abused financially because they were paying the rent to private landlords and he claimed they opened bank accounts and took money out of these accounts um, when, when they shouldn't have done or paid too much and the report asked whether these adults because they had learning difficulties could consent to that or even knew what was going on now it, it, the report doesn't kind of comment on those landlords but it does say that there weren't proper procedures in place by the council to check those private landlords. OK, and what's the, what's the council had to say briefly? Well, briefly it says that there were serious failings, it's drawing up an action plan, there's no quick fixes, but it doesn't want to have a situation, again, where staff feel unable to speak out and where the rights of vulnerable people are compromised. OK, Abby, thanks very much indeed. We'll have lots more on that on uh, North West tonight at uh, half past six. Thanks, Abby.